Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to our Thursday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and for episode 301, Woo! it's still important. It's awesome. one's important. It's awesome. We have Jeff from Hesher Barbecue. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, before we get going, yesterday was episode 300, right? And I thanked some people, but I forgot to thank one specific person. And it's his birthday today. <laughs> Producer Josh, uh, happy, birthday! happy birthday. Thanks for putting up with me for 500 shows, 300 of what's for lunch, 200 local biz buzz. It cannot be fun looking at my face through that monitor 500 times. You get used to it. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into you now. History of you and your barbecue. I've been a chef in this market and in New York City for almost 20 years. Um, I always wanted to do a food truck. And so I put the restaurant away a couple years ago and had fun. Made chef-driven barbecue, you know. That's what we're about. And uh, so when did it start? When did the food truck start? Two years ago. Okay. Uh, my partner and I opened it up. So. And what's the concept? The concept is um, barbecue, but it's more than that. I like to twist it. So uh, we call it heavy metal barbecue, food that rocks. So you have um, south of the border flavors, Asian flavors. I do daily specials all the time. Um, that we're what we're really known for. Um, so I like brought the burger I did yesterday, this double smash burger. Um, burn ends are my special today, so I brought those for you. We'll get in, yeah. we'll bring that all over in a yeah. second. Uh, you have to explain to them because I assume that they're like me and don't know what the heck a Hesher is. Well, the first thing is why do you spell the why do you spell it like that? Like the backwards <laughs> E's, and the answer is well, because it creates conversation. <laughs> um, it also is very metal, you know, having things a little bit twisted and backwards. Um, the, uh, the Hesher is a slang term for someone who's really into hard rock and heavy metal music from like the 80s and 90s. So in honor of Iron Maiden's album coming out tomorrow, I wore my Iron Come Maiden. Come on, really? I Iron Maiden's still alive? Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. This is gonna be an epic album too. So, so I brought my Iron Maiden jersey today to, uh, to celebrate Iron Maiden's new album coming out. Are you making, is there gonna be a special Iron Maiden barbecue dish for the uh, new this, album? This is actually uh, a sandwich named after one of their songs. One of okay. Their songs. So yeah, well, let's, about that. let's get into the food. Uh, I'll just start right here. Beef burn ends, the magical, magical things. Yeah, not, uh, so not everybody sells them. Is it because it's expensive? They're super expensive. Yeah. Uh, they're also very time consuming. Yeah. Um, I actually don't use brisket for mine. I use the short plate rib. So those big dinosaur ribs, uh -huh. I turn those into burn-ins. And what do you think the difference is? Texturally, I think they're better. The shape's better. The flavor is super rich, which what you want for meat candy. So and costs less for you? It's about the same as brisket, oh, okay. but the, the way the the way the briskets are right now, there's a lot of really small briskets out there. So using that point uh, to do brisket burn-ins, uh, they're just really small and not very good. Okay, it's kind of a waste of product. So. And it, does it have a name or does it just it's beef burn ends? No yeah. rock yeah. meme name no. or anything. No meat candy is what it is, and you'll know when you have one. I'm like, you're not going to share, are you? Can I have one right now? <laughs> Nachos. So we spend a lot of time in breweries. So a lot of the food that I have on my menu is designed for people that are sitting down drinking Smart. beers. Yeah, um, it's food that I want to eat, gastro pub type food, yeah. and you got to have a nacho. So um, we add green chili to ours, which is cool. All of my sides I do are. Um, vegetarian my green chili is vegetarian so for those guests that uh, don't want to have barbecue they can still eat off of my truck which is so great on this one this is a brisket it's a chopped brisket okay and yeah why wouldn't you put green chili on your nachos yeah why not instead of beans yeah, yeah. but even yeah. still like most nachos like yeah. kind of dry and mm -hmm. half the chips don't have anything yeah and you need something oh yeah and then we do a white cheddar cheese sauce uh then there's also shredded cheddar and jack cheese on there too pico de gallo shredded cabbage it's a great nacho damn good looking nacho yeah sell a lot of nachos all right we got so these are these are my here. signature sandwiches uh so that's the wasted years that's a uh, smoked chicken um it's got chili verde on it um it's also got some shredded cabbage melted cheese and pico de gallo that's the Iron Maiden sandwich. Okay. This is the pig face. So this is um, got my spicy barbecue sauce called Bad Out of Hell. Uh, everything's music themed, obviously. Uh, they don't. They don't. Pork. They. These kids don't know what Bad Out of Hell is. You should. It's one of the greatest albums of all time. I do. It is. It really is. <laughs> yeah. It still sounds good. Yeah. That's meatloaf for those yeah. of you who don't know. Um, I have a, a Dr Pepper sauce I do too. That's called Dr Feel Good. Mm -hmm. A <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the pulled pork. It's got you know the the coleslaw on it. Pickles. Are you doing that's awesome. Vinegary or creamy? That's creamy. Okay. Yeah. I think it's the way it should be, but 
It's, yeah, that's the way it should be. Some people do the vinegary. It's fine. What I, what I like is the, the creaminess of the coleslaw really helps with the heat of that barbecue sauce because that barbecue sauce has uh, ghost pepper in it. Ooh. So you definitely know you're eating it. I love it. I like bold flavors. So yeah, brash I mean. and bold is my is my my motto. Okay. What's and this guy? This is my Pantera sandwich. Greatest band ever. Uh, so that's the barbecue Beyond Driven sandwich. That's my brisket. It's got uh, tobacco onions on it. Um, again, the spicy barbecue sauce, pickles. That's and by a, tobacco a onions, there's not actually tobacco in the onions. That's true. It's just a style of onion. Um, but got great. I, I like textures too. So there's a lot of like crunch and, and acidity and things going on with that. It's fun. That's a really fun sandwich. I don't know, but I think you need to be opening up a restaurant. Yeah, I'm taking a break from restaurants. <laughs> I think this would kill it. <laughs> it will. Uh, so this is uh, this is the Korean taco I entered for uh, Top Taco the other night. Um, that's um, one of our best-selling items on the truck. Galbi marinated brisket, kimchi that we make, pickled onions we make, green onions on it. It's, it's got a lot going on. That's a fantastic taco. And you took third place, third place right? Yeah, people's, people's choice and judges. So It's pretty I'm solid. Happy, I'm happy with that. Because you have like not the big hype behind you of, of other places that have multiple yeah. locations. Yeah. Or... yeah, yeah. We did well. So again, going back to like foods that rock you know i like i like south of the border flavor so that's our pulled pork um chili verde uh pico de gallo a lot of you know mexican flavors going on with that so pulled like pork being the basic basically carnitas carnitas yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. which i eat those every day <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can eat tacos every day uh this is our loaded mac and cheese um so large noodle mac our our cheese sauce again cheddar and jack that's got brisket on it. We offer it with chicken and pork. I even do um, some mushrooms sometime on that one, which is fun too. Again, green chili on that. That's a ridiculous mac and cheese. That's my lunch. This is really going to be challenging today. Oh, this is your lunch? <laughs> Can I have a bite? No. I guess it's his birthday. I can't really say no. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday! Look what I made you. Oh, we should put a candle. We'll put, we'll put a candle in it for you. I think we should. Uh, <laughs> we don't trust it with fire. That's true. Well, it's only 43 candles, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is an example of our, our daily specials. Uh, this was yesterday's special at Launchpad Brewery. It's a double smash burger with brisket, fried pickles, melted cheese. Potato chips? It's awesome. Those are uh, fried pickles. Oh, yeah. look how thin they are. Yeah, they're awesome. How? Nice acidity. You making that? Mm -hmm. Killer, right? Why have I not seen this before? I've never seen anybody do this. No? Fried yeah. pickles so thin they're like potato chefs. chips. <laughs> well, great, right? That's really interesting. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and they got a nice acidity to them. Most fried pickles will be a little bit, you know. So squishy. I can have this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, then I'm having this. <laughs> All right, I think we hit everything. Now, the big yeah. question is everybody wants to know where you are at. So, uh, the best way to find out where we're at is to follow us on social media um, Hesher Barbecue on Facebook and then Barbecue Beyond Driven on Instagram. Barbecue uh, Beyond Driven yeah. on Instagram. And that's, uh, I post our schedule every Sunday or Monday. We usually take Mondays off to kind of regroup because we go nonstop the rest of the time. Uh, but you're going to find us at, at some of the best breweries. Um, tonight you're time. at? We're at Brews Beers tonight. We go, then, we go I think all tomorrow you're at Resolute. Resolute. Yeah. Uh, There's we, two of them though, I think. Are you at the one here? We or? do, we were at Arvada okay. on Tuesday, the Tap and Cellar. We're at Centennial. Um, Saturday. Okay. Yeah. We're taking Labor Day off, but you know, we need a pool day before pool shut down, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we go to uh, Launchpad, we go to Lone Tree Brewing a lot. Yeah, um, Lone Tree. We do uh, Something Brewery up in Brighton, that's one of my favorite spots. We go to um, uh, Mountain Toad out in Golden. Okay. Uh, we're at uh, Burley on Castle Rock. Yeah. On, Good ones. Uh, on, uh, so that tells you Friday. a lot. Yeah. If you're at the good breweries, the good breweries want the good food. Yeah. So you, they, they must be very happy with you. Well, another big thing about we do is we do table service. So we actually treat the breweries' dining rooms as yeah, like. I've never own. heard of that. Yeah. So, so most you give people, them like a pager or? No, we go and do the orders at the table. They sit there with their beer. They stay with their family, their friends. We go, we go table to table to take all the orders. We deliver the food. We even clean up. So. Yeah. We just, I've been doing a restaurant too long not to do table service. Yeah, that's so, interesting. So, yeah, so we actually have a front of house person, and then we have our kitchen person, and, you know, kitchen person's I, I'm usually telling you, this guy. Without ever even having a bite of this, if this was a restaurant, just this, what I see right here, this restaurant would be a home run. Nobody's doing any combinations, presentations like this. very unique. Thank you. Mm. Hopefully it tastes good. It does taste good. Mm. Uh, what's your website? Uh, it's hesherbarbecuecompany.com. Spell it for them. 
H3, S H 3 R B B Q C O dot com. Some people will see it like if they're on Facebook or YouTube, but on Instagram they can't see links. Yeah. I'm going for this. Because I have a huge yeah, mouth, as people have it. told me. That's ridiculous. And uh, <laughs> see if I can fit this in my big mouth. I'm going to have a burnt end. Yeah. Well, uh, come on. What are the rules? What do we say? Let's eat. Let's eat. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of What's for Lunch. We got Bistro Vendom coming in. Let's eat. Mm. Yeah. Dude. I know. It's all over your face, too. It's fantastic. Holy shit. We need napkins.